just imagine that football whiplash because these two totals are 30 points apart. College football is beautiful because there will be two games on New Year's Day. One of them has a total of 67 and a half. One of them has a total of 35 and a half. This line was up at eight and a half. And Emory, this is interesting to me. Uh, it was at eight and a half. It's dropped to six and a half as we gather. And the major news development that I see is that it is actually something that Tennessee fans have been asking for, which of course is Nico, who, who's got it? Do you have it? Iamala, hold on. Iamaleava? Ila, Ila, Iamaleava. I, I can't, I can't, I heard it and now I butchered it. But listen, the way they talked about this dude since, you know, throwing in pajamas at 707, I'm excited to see it. Like, I, he better come out and go 30 for 30. We better see T Martin versus South Carolina in this ball game. You know, I'm excited to see it because he's supposed to be the future. And I like that this is an element of bowl season where you can play your freshman and not lose that red shirt. So I think based off his talent, based off the high school film I watched of him, based off the hype, I think they'll do fine. And again, it doesn't – you could beat Iowa 10 nothing and cover, right? Or 7 nothing now that the spread has dropped to 6.5. So I love Tennessee here. I think we can see Tennessee – get seven points uh, against Iowa, and Iowa stay at zero. <laughs> Iowa's offense is is not good at all, and that's putting it nicely. So Tennessee's defense can really puff his chest out and say, look, we shut down Iowa. Because to your point earlier, Chip, in the box scores three decades from now, you'll say Tennessee blanks Iowa in the bowl game. No one's going to remember Iowa's offense average 0.3 points a game. So, yes. Ladies points with Tennessee. Ia Maleava. Ia Maleava. Ia Maleava. Ia Maleava. We're getting you set that's for the 2024 season. Yeah, that's, that's not that's bad. Easy. It's not bad. All right. Um, EC, what are we doing? Yeah, I, listen, you guys can agree with me on this one. I think I was the worst 10-win team in the history of college football. I don't think – can anybody disagree with that? Uh, they're awful. With that said, does Tennessee really care about this game? You know, they had a lot higher hopes than to end up in whatever this iteration of, I think this is the Outback Bowl, right? It used to be the Outback Bowl. Or... It's the Citrus Bowl. The Relia Quest oh. is the old Outback. So the okay. battle for Bloomin' Onion and Coconut Shrimp, because remember, nothing says Big Ten like Coconut Shrimp. Thank uh, you. you know, that's that, right. The yeah. Big Ten yeah. was the Coconut yeah. Shrimp. SEC was the Bloomin' Onion, and that's why we all got Bloomin' Onions. Yeah, the Outback Bowl is now the Relia Quest Bowl. I the, yeah, I, I, yeah, I can never keep my Florida Bowl game sponsors together. I do know the Pop-Tarts Bowl. I do love NC State, by the way. Uh, I know we're not talking about that. All right, Iowa has won four of their last five bowls. And last year, don't forget, they shut out an SEC team 21-zip. It's Kentucky, but it is what it is. And they are 4-0-1 against the spread in those in those five bowl games. Tennessee this year, 0-3 straight up against ranked teams. They're only averaging 12.3 points a game. I probably should have bet the under, but sadly, I'm going to take Iowa with the points, Tennessee 17, Iowa 13. I am not a fan of body shaming, but I will admit that if you follow our work on the Cover 3 podcast, you've been well aware of Fat Joe Milton, a.k.a. Uh, Deacon Hill. Um, you know, Fat Joe Milton, of course, being that he's got the same huge arm, lack of accuracy, but if everything's dialed in, then it might work out. I'm very sad we don't get to see Joe Milton against Fat Joe Milton, but I think Deacon Hill's going to pull my pants in, and we're just going to be sitting there watching – Deacon Hill and this Christmas hams scoring touchdowns. So give me the Hawkeyes. Uh, I think that a freshman quarterback making his first career start uh, against a defense that loves to confuse quarterbacks with pre-snap movement and lure you into interceptions. I think that's a, I think it's a bad spot for the Vols. Very tricky spot for the Vols. Uh, I'll take Iowa and I will take the points.